welcome back. We're watching another episode of Frieden. After the exciting time that was the mage trial, it, there was a few mistakes along the way. Several teams had to drop out, rather by failure or by death. But at least the Fern and Frieden have made it to the next stage, and maybe made a few friends along the way. We saw quite a few little... Different attitudes towards magic, what it means, how much the magical art means to everyone, and that once again, Frieden stands head and shoulders above everyone else, managing to rip apart the barrier that had been protecting them for many a year and being put up by the not only legendary mage, but her teacher. So having the master of a fairy tale. Come up and actually put on barriers. Hmm. Are they going to get up, come and go and... Are they going to get up and come and visit Frieden? Or stay and let her come to them? We'll have to see. I'm excited. Hopefully you are as well. So let's get to it. And with the final full first test now being over, there's so many of these names which I'm not going to remember. <laughs> Obviously, like Richter and Denkin, and well, not sure, but the other teams. How much of a role are they going to play into the the future of all this mage business? Is going is Fudi then going to pass off a little bit of knowledge and efficiency to some of the others in the future, and then they can be disappointed in her how she actually behaves. Sleeping in until three in the afternoon. There is so much about Fleet and not just its kind of adventurous spirit and the way that it's lackadaisical in all of it, while holding a world that lives and breathes has been affected by everyone that has passed through. But seeing both change and unchanging through the years. Hmm. I'm guessing future enemies because of the test and it. His peace is going to be interrupted, isn't it? Enjoy it while you can. They're rather persistent. At least let him put on his shoes first. Starts off as just a slight knock to getting into heavier and he Oh no. His sense of time is a little rattled right now. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have anyone to look up to look after him. What is? Can he not be trusted to 
be trusted to look after himself. They have it so rough. They won't. That was 80 years ago. Yeah. Was it just a street stool or a restaurant? Oh. So outside of the major exam, they've all got their own little things going on. In fact, we're actually seeing half of it. Hmm. Is that payment for his... for his help? I mean... doesn't mean you can't enjoy some s sweets. Uh -huh. Not the worst payment. Oh, if they come to see how he is. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, he needs to heal up. So they're all... They're all going to go and get some uh, food in the local area. Well, doesn't it? It's pretty obvious what she's doing. She's eating. And they're hers. <laughs> he is... He is a bit of a loner. He doesn't need to rely on anyone else. A little prickly, to be fair. Well, now you're pulling out the uh, big guns when it comes to kind of guilting him to join in. I have a feeling that through. Through various forces, they're go going to all converge into one restaurant. Ah, good. <laughs> See, life goes on in this little city. Well, that's because the town is meant to be safe. Oh, that seems like a fun conversation partner. Well, her answer is going to be uh, interesting here because is it only when she's when they deserve it, or is there? A does she actually have some rules? Hmm. So she... Oh dear, he is, he's in trouble for various reasons. The fact that mages can't just go around and go, like, you're bound. Oh. And... She can't find a way to 
copy his magic? He seems so out of it, I was like, really? <laughs> no wonder that uh, they can't really get on. She's by instinct, he's through trial and effort. Hmm. At least can you not do it out in the street, there'll be a lot of clear up. They are such an odd little uh, duo. I think he's now going to use clones through the town. Any and every opportunity he can. Just use a little doppelganger. 50 years ago. Okay. It must be going strong then. Even if it has changed management a few times, or if it's family run. Hmm. One of everything, please. <laughs> Looks like their... Their evening may be ruined, having to come and eat in the same establishment. It's not like they hold uh, any lingering resentment towards them for what happened. Hmm, good choice. I like the dis choices of food. The fact that Stark just got a little, like, on oh, rice. Huh. Same dish. She really is a creature of habit. Hmm. Really? Him all got the Omri Rice as well. There may not be a next time, though. You might make the best of it while you can. He will pass it on. Down the line, train the next, the next era of chefs so that it, it stays as it was. Hmm. He thinks quite highly of himself, but eighty years on. Frieden actually saying that this little restaurant is pretty decent. Hmm. And the fact that they've got the entire place booked out to them thanks to returning the knife. Is she just going to sit there admiring it rather than tasting it? Is, have the flavours changed, or is it the company? Ah. Maybe the change in how the, the cattle is reared. Yeah. Culinary advances have changed over the years. Apparently, clones doesn't take too much energy. <laughs> Look at her little saunter. Yeah, I think they've managed to cheer her up. Uh, awful.
was this nothing more that he can teach him. He has transcended so many. I thought she recognized him like <laughs> I have no idea. Not that he sought him out to train or be better. No, it's just he, he just turns up sometimes. Oh god. They can't go to the restaurant again. God damn it. Was it a special occasion or that they need to get You don't want to be around. He's... He's one to talk, though. Will her bad mood... You know, extend onto Stark if he tried to entertain a conversation? And the fact that you know, they were still in the same room, she could probably hear them talking. Uh, okay, that can probably be arranged. How much of their savings are being eaten away at by Fern's sweet tooth? Is it the... Yeah. What's with his... Stance? Hmm. If he's after a warrior, there's a certain someone in this town that might be interesting for him to meet. Okay. The fact that he's just you know, out minding his own business and gets sized up. That nah, you won't do. Huh? Ha. Huh. So she's putting in the effort. Oh. She showered with gifts. The family is really close, isn't it? Can they just trade places once in a while? I'm sure there's a magic for that somewhere. Why is she... <laughs> Does she want to get hit? Yep. <laughs> That's the exact kind of uh, interaction to expect from good friends. Although she should be used to the outburst by now and take a step back if uh, her hair's about to be ripped off. Some fresh bread and some preserved fruit and the like. Oh no. Anything he chooses will not be alright. Hmm. Look who it is. If it's not the old man, it's someone else that they're acquainted with. And the fact that they're kind of segmented and Fern is still right up in the front, away from them all. Still not a happy bunny. Yeah, he doesn't have... Ah! Well, yeah, kinda. They didn't do such a thorough examination of the other one. Maybe he shouldn't complain about being surrounded by girls now. <laughs> I 
How much are they willing to pay? <laughs> Immediate. We don't care about his wants or needs or anything that he's actually got going on. Yeah. Huh. Yep. When that's not under the pressures of the examination and something so intense on the line. Apart from saving them their reputation and teaching them so much during the test. Ah, actually getting thanks for everything that they've done throughout the years. Was she ever actually given that kind of acknowledgement, or was it always directed towards that him or in the group? It's just how it rolls. It's uh, his selfishness. That's what it was. That's why he helps everyone. I actually fully understand and agree with that reasoning. To engrave himself on everyone else's hearts through good deeds. His words there being so soft and yet so I don't know what the word would be. Well, that's a smile you don't see all too often. Well, it you know how to cheer her up, just a few sweet treats. <laughs> ah. She's so fickle. Since they've passed the first one, these good times might not last forever. One scroll for all of them? Ruins of the King's Tomb. Sense? Why, does they have a bit of history behind them, or...? Incredibly tough. Hmm, okay. So, what, there was too many that passed this time, I need to whittle it down some more. Did, did she not get her own scrap? Nothing like a bit of light reading while you're in the bath. Did she not get her... oh. Doesn't take lightly to having visitors drop in on her. Maybe not a fancy meal like he has been having, but a nice roasted bit of meat. Not bad. Dreadful test. What kind of dreadful test can be put together by a pacifist? Considering the location is the ruins of an old king's tomb. And being so tough as that no one in in the past four that they've procked it has have passed. Is this going to be a surprise upset with so many being able to work together and getting over the uh, the thing at hand? Even if it was say stated to you, the second test is coming up. We'll we will be enemies next time we meet. What's to say that they have to 
be antagonistic antagonistic towards one another? Why can't they work towards a common goal? Fern is a Fern is a tough case for them. Getting upset and having so many moments, silent treatments and sulks. It's not really fair on those two. They don't really know how to uh, interact with people normally, let alone placate. Raiding a dungeon, you say? Hmm. Would it actually be dungeon crawling as we know it? Or is there going to be... Since it's a ruin of an old old tomb, go in, clean and exercise the area. But seeing so many of them outside of the exam actually somewhat get along, if not for you know, Denkin and Richter and that little group. Ubel having a new target. The idea that she can copy out magics if she can empathize slightly. Being able to control her, her magics through just gut feeling alone is impressive. Although is he going to have to constantly keep up this wall so that uh, she stays interested enough not to just get rid of him. So oh, I know the magic now. And one thing I was wondering was... In the restaurant, with the big plate of food that she had, having the tastes through the years change, and her acknowledge what's better now. Has it actually changed? Or is it just her perception of it all? The fact she's now more... responsive? Her understanding of the world itself, her company what it takes to the the efforts that people have put in is it just that everything is more delicious now rather than the food itself changing or is it now that they actually have you know access to the use of salt it's good though that stark has a little interaction now the fact that he's been taken along to actually put use to some of his skills. He's he got a little soft while they're just lazing around the room all, all, all the time. Go out, do his little bit of training, come back, sleep. He's had his vacation away while they were at the at the exam, so now he's gotta put in the work. But what did Fern actually expect of him? That he would pick up some amazing new hobby, become a philosopher, write several novels while they're doing the doing the exam. Is he not allowed to sleep in once in a while? This show, just on its surface, is amusing and fun, a nice little journey. The fact it resonates so many feelings beyond that lays down messages to him. You yourself don't have to do anything great. As long as you leave a mark on others' hearts, change them even slightly, be remembered throughout the years. Kind of, you know, an Octomon coming from the hero who went out and saved so many lives, you don't have to do anything great apart from, you know, save the world. But it's those small acts along the way. I hope I can be thought of and remembered sometimes. If you've enjoyed this, and if I've entertained you, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below, consider subscribing to the channel, and, quite importantly, make sure to take care of yourselves. Get some rest. Don't get picked out in a crowd and go on a dangerous mission by someone wearing a fur coat. But I'll see you for the next one.
have some interesting faces there as well that have been succeeded in the mage trial. Why was that one grabbing at the bird to, that delivered the message, though? A little quick to anger or no nonsense? <laughs> 